Um, but HB 56 combines some of the most heinous, vicious, inhumane Jim Crow legislation of the um, 1950s. But it's worse than that. It's reminiscent of the trail of tears of the 19th century when Native American families were forced to flee their native native actually they were forced to flee their native lands, but after they were forced to flee Alabama because somebody else wanted the territory. But it's kind of both. And the trail of tears is not just figurative, it's literal. There is a trail of tears in Alabama at this very moment, as family after family have to decide what to do about mixed document families. Um, but, and the coolest thing about it is the fear that it engenders among, um, not just, not just by the way, uh, Latino immigrants. Muslim immigrants are afraid. Alabama is not well up on national geopolitics and where folks come from. After 9-11, a uh, Colombian got beat up in Huntsville because they thought he was Muslim. He's a Honduran Catholic. So I guess they never come back around. Um, and now uh, Muslims are in deep fear of HB 56. And just like the other thing that we really worry about, too, is here in Alabama, of course, the lawsuits about one of the things about the lawsuit is that really a patchwork of, of state immigrant, immigrant laws. And its impact is it's already a patchwork of counties in enforcement. And I'll finish by saying this, the cruelest thing about it, I'm not a lawyer, I don't do the legal stuff, it, what, what makes it most similar to Jim Crow and how it affects real people is it's just like Jim Crow. It's absolutely arbitrary, it's absolutely capricious. You may live in one county and be subject to some, some, some law enforcement guy, live, live in another county and everything seems on the surface be so much better. And that's the real cruelty of HB 56. So with near successionary zeal, our state leaders uh, governing under the influence of rabid racism, extreme xenophobia, and much ignorance. But the main thing is they're causing much pain in Alabama.